Hi there, this is gonna be a general love reading for all signs. Let's just see what the energy is like. I mean, we're getting close to this blood moon and just intense energies. You know, it's eclipses and eclipses are wild cards. You guys always hear me say that, right? Because it's the truth. Look, you got passion. Allow your heart and soul to sing with joy. Feel it. What does it feel like? Lean into it. I mean, literally, he's leaning into her. It's like lean into it. It's almost, and here we go. You know, I hate when we talk about them, the masculines. <laughs> but it's my job to channel what comes out. This here is looking and feeling like needing to lean into it. Leaning into what makes you happy. This is not just for them. This is for everyone. Leaning into what makes you happy. Allowing, it literally says, allow your heart and soul to sing with joy. Separation. Time apart from your partners on the horizon. For some of you, that is literal, right? You will be separating from someone that you've been married to, dating, living with. But for some of you, this says that separation is no longer. The separation, there's, it's about to be, the, the gap is about to be bridged. It's bridging the gap. It's bridging the gap. You can see it clear as day. Um, let's use the Intuit Oracle. So here we have bridging the gap. Wow, look at these two cards. You got death and the new moon. New moon is enchantment, erotic aura, excitement, new beginnings. And then we have death. The end is just the beginning. You see that? Right? Death is rebirth. We are in Scorpio season, transformation, and all this energy, right? But this is super symbolic of the end is the just the beginning. So for some of you, some kind of separation from a person or a situation is going to create this brand new beginning because not create space, right? This here is also that feeling of determined, slightly possessive, real deep. Yeah, deep. Scorpio is what lurks beneath the surface. So there's this really deep feeling here. Someone starts to feel deeply. Someone here is starting to really lean into new beginnings, right? And it's a beautiful energy here because we did just have the 1111 port portal, right? And the 1111, 1111 is a twin flame number, but it's also new beginnings. One symbolizes go. Justice Libra. Balance. Refined. artistic indirect is what screams at me a lot of all of these words indirect someone here didn't look you in the eye is what i'm hearing they didn't look you in the eye someone here was beaten around the bush someone here may have been not speaking their mind fully someone here may have said everything but what needed to be said and then gee i wonder who and then there flies out the man the masculine you know of course not that we don't do it we do it too right both sides but we're speaking about them the masculine a masculine needs to lean into being more direct now the thing about scorpio is they're, they're very direct but they're also lurkers. They're also the FBI's of the Zodiac. So prior to them pouncing, if you will, right? That, it, it's like they will watch and observe and survey. 
And there's been a period of time here of watching and observing with no communication. The ego flies out and there you have it. New hope, clear vision, different perspective, a new opportunity. Talk about past, present, future. Someone sees their future with you in it. And then we have the squirrel, which is secretive. I told you, they're not, it says miscommunication. Um, someone here wasn't looking you in the eye. Someone here wasn't being direct. Someone here wasn't owning up to it, coughing it up. Someone here was not seeing the opportunity in front of them. And then something happens. And then now it's like, all I see is you. The geese coming back. The geese is beautiful because it, it always comes back, right? It migrates, but then it always comes back home. It's about knowing where you're going. It's on a quest. It's migration. It's relocation. It's dependable. But it is about coming back. Coming back. Something comes back around. Circles back. Or it's always like trying to avoid it, but it comes right back to you, to us, to this job. All I see is you. And the trophy holy shit and the trophy is gorgeous it's victory it's, it's it's you know ambition it's recognition it's success someone here could be in the public eye you have fame someone here could have a lot of accolades you have awards someone here has an amazing reputation um but this is this is wanting to win the prize and which if it didn't have to be a scorpio but the scorpionic energy is that of that's mine And it's also about seeing somebody as being the trophy, as the prize. They see you now as the prize for some. You see them as the prize, fox. See, the fox comes out to tell us that it was deceit. Not deceit meaning they're trying to pull one over on you, but for some of you, and, and some of you, you haven't met this person yet, okay? But this would be like not being honest with the way I feel, meaning downplaying it. This is not a karmic, toxic relationship either. This is someone here that may have... It says stealth. So this could be someone that watched and didn't come forward or say anything. Right? This is also someone who said everything but was what, what, what was important. Oh, the moose. Mm -hmm. See, cool, calm, and collected. This is a very solid, stable energy. Cool, calm, and collected. Independent, powerful. Someone here who likes to be alone as well because it says time alone. The moon, mm -hmm. divine feminine is the moon, but the moon is secrets. Moon is of the subconscious, it's romance. It could be about, you know, like what's hidden, hidden emotions. Look at that, the dog, the dog is friendship. The dog is really loyal, very faithful, but it's a friend. And for some of you, that could have been what this was, is that maybe you pretended like I went into it, I, I'm not into it. Maybe you friend zoned someone or they friend zoned you. It also speaks, though, about this person coming in is going to be real loyal, real devoted. And I think nowadays it's real hard to find. A lot of people are out for themselves. A lot of people are real selfish. And, like, listen, we need to be selfish with our own time because, you know, you got to fill your cup, obviously, right? But you know what I mean. Some people are just in it for themselves and they don't reciprocate and they're not in it to, like, be balanced, right? And that's bullshit. So this would be someone coming in that it's indicating that they would be reciprocating what you give, what you want, what you deserve. Six of Swords coming on my way. It's moving forward. Queen of Wands. Someone desires you like, a lot. Right? Queen of Wands is the divine feminine in her raw power. She is charismatic. She's strong. She's powerful. She is creative. She is unstoppable. She doesn't see it coming, though. She doesn't see it. If, if it's a person she knows, see the moon again. She doesn't see it coming, hidden. The moon is what you don't see coming, so it's hidden. She doesn't, she's not going to see it coming, so she's not going to see. She will be shocked as fuck to hear this coming from a particular person if she knows them. She will be very shocked of, of, of how it happens or whatever. Like It's going to be shocking. There it is, 11-11, talking about that. Union. 
new beginnings. And then the sun came out earlier. So the sun and the moon are reuniting. It's an eclipse, isn't it? And this is eclipse season. Oh, shit. It fell. Hold on. <laughs> oh, you see that? You can see my Christmas tree. It's literally right next to me. <laughs> I did put a Christmas tree in my bedroom. Because there's room. Sun and the moon reunite. What's funny is the sun and the moon always miss each other, right? They always miss each other, barely catching a glimpse, barely catching a glimpse. Eclipses mean that they eclipse each other. I see you. Remember, it was it's all I see is you. Somebody now sees something that was elusive to them so that they didn't see. Maybe it was because they literally couldn't see it, right? The sun and the moon always miss each other. When they meet like this, the whole world stops and stares because it's a fucking eclipse. It's a phenomenon. So there's something about that energy and, and, and it being an eclipse coming up, uh, like you can't make shit like that up. Uh, you really can't. All I see is you. I see it now. Queen of Cups. <sighs> Contemplating, feeling. Should I feel? This is about being open and receptive, right? It's about sitting there and, and debating whether you're going to allow yourself to feel this sensitivity and then the magician magician can be an illusion right it's an illusionist it's also about having the power all of the power to create it's manifestation right it's shit like that magic but it feels like it's an illusion There was a big illusion here. And I believe it, see, this, I was just going to shuffle and look what's on the bottom of the deck. Seven of Swords. An illusion. It's, it's deception. Not deception in a bad way. This is deception, like, not it being hidden from you. See? The two of fucking cups. I told you. It's being hidden. This connection, this person, their feelings, your feelings, however that works. It was hidden from each other. It was hidden from you. However that works. All right, we're going to do an extended for this, and we are going to be using the sexual tarot magic deck in that extended. And if you're offended by images such as that, which is ridiculous because it's beautiful art, then don't purchase the extended. To purchase it, click on the link below. It would be in the special love slash oracle readings. I want to thank you for your likes, your shares, and your subscriptions here on YouTube. Please be sure to follow me on Instagram, xi underscore missy underscore xi, and we will go ahead and get into this extended. Love you guys. Bye.